your your career path has been quite interesting and i actually wasn't aware that you were in corporate before i kind of i think i just assumed that you'd come mm. up through, through the <laughs> auditor general so that's quite interesting mm. um as a student why would you <coughs> recommend uh someone to get into the public sector so as a student who's studying to be a ca or you know to be a professional accountant um why would they think about getting into the public sector? What types of qualifications could they be looking at? Um, and you know, what value can they be getting out of that type of profession, out of that, out of that sector? Yeah. So I mean, I think they would start off with a sort of element of, of, of you know, why, why get in in the first yeah. place. I, yeah. I think, I mean, we all study accountancy for different reasons, yeah. but most of us, it's because of the money. <laughs> because of the opportunity um, and that's fine and there's nothing wrong yeah, with that no, no. And, and and you know we we we're all trying to build a career for ourselves and and, and trying to do the best we can for for ourselves and for our families and yep. and, and and you know um ultimately it, it's a you know fantastic opportunity to go into this profession um the, the the challenge of course for a lot of people is that they get into into a typical private sector role and it can be quite frustrating where it feels like you are are just doing working to make money for somebody else uh, uh, where you feel like you are, are just a part of this giant machine and, and you almost feel like a number sometimes, especially in the big firms. Like, and that can be quite difficult. And, and for some people, they find their home there and it's great. For some people, they want to go work in a bank or in you know, some big listed company and that's great. Um, but for those of us who, who really kind of have a sense that we want to have a career that makes a difference, um, for those of us who kind of maybe look at our country and say, you know, like there's so much that needs to be yeah. done to to improve the lives of people in our country. And sometimes that can be our families directly. Yeah. Um, you know, a, a career in a public sector gives you an opportunity to use your accountancy skills, um, but ultimately to ensure that, that public funds are used to make a difference, you know, yeah. and, and used for their intended purpose. Um, yeah. And so there's, there's this real sense of, of you know working in the public sector is not just a vocation but but a sense of almost a calling of some sort you know right. that you that w whether you have a religious view on that or just or just that you want to be a, able to be a part of the solution yeah um, it's there's really a sense in in, in doing something that matters and that, yeah. that can make a you know difference in our country so and, right. and it's not to say you don't make money <laughs> this is a sort of fallacy right. in south africa we, we're quite lucky if you take a job in the public sector for most of the way through your career, you'll be earning equivalent or even slightly more in some cases yeah. than you might than you might earn in the private sector. There is a a cap, so you're not going to get share options and right. make yourself a multimillionaire through that. But yeah. but but you'll be okay. <laughs> you're going to have a good a good career. You know, good, you know, you'll be fine. It's, yeah. it's not like it's badly paid. I think it's one of the benefits of South Africa. It's not not true across the continent, but right. it's just in our country, it is. So, and and then I mean. <laughs> There's also this perception that maybe there's less opportunities. You know, yeah, if I choose to go right, into the public right. sector, well, it's I'm a stuff. But yeah. Well, yeah, what I've found is that there were far more opportunities. Okay. In fact, I found I was quite restricted in the firm that I was working in. I wanted to get more involved in education. I wanted to be doing stuff outside of the day-to-day -day audit. Yeah. But the problem with that was that the things I wanted to do were not the things that, you know, were going to make the firm money. They weren't for oh. hours and so on. <laughs> And, and when I got into the public sector, I discovered firstly that my skills are needed, that people want to, wanted to learn what I had to yeah. share. Um, and that's not because people are, are, are you know, less smart or, or less educated, but the, the background that people come from often just wasn't, wasn't similar to what we would get in, in yeah. the sort of right. sausage machine of the big firms, you know, where yeah. everyone's kind of been through the same cycle. I, I had knowledge that other people didn't. They had knowledge that I didn't have, and together we were able to, to do something of substance. Yeah. And then, and then really, it's just opened up so many doors. The, the job I'm doing now, I mean, I, not everyone's going to end up doing the kind of thing I'm doing, but it, it, you know, I've, I've, you know, through, my, through my work, been able to travel the world. Um, I've been able to, you know, I've been to every continent, I think, just oh, in wow. this job that I'm in now. Um, and and it's, it's given me such amazing exposure to people who hold very high office, um, you know, I'm uh, going to be attending some meetings at the United Nations in a couple of weeks' really? time. Uh, right. I get to I get to engage with with government uh, ministers and all kinds of uh, interesting people, uh, and that for me just just connects. Not it's not because it, it, 
what's cool about that is not so much the you know being able to put it on my cv that oh i did all this great stuff but it's about the fact that i get to use my skill set to hopefully influence some of these discussions Uh, right uh, and i've learned that actually as accountants we have quite a lot to offer yeah um so So yeah, I mean, broadly speaking, I, I'd say that that for me is why the the why is, is is because you want to make a difference, but also because it's a viable career path right. yeah. with many different routes that you can right. take. It, it's yeah. uh, it's certainly not restrictive uh, yeah. in any way. Yeah. You asked kind of so then where do you start and what sort of what sort yeah. of qualifications yeah, yeah. would you do? I mean, firstly, firstly, the, the, if for the students who are studying at the moment, maybe they're doing CTA keep your head down and study, <laughs> do the best you can. I mean, that's the first step because ultimately getting, getting your CA it will open up many doors for you yeah. wherever you choose Absolutely. to go. Yeah. And the public sector recognizes the CA qualification as, 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 a, as you know, valuable, a yeah. entry point into many, into many roles. Right. Um, but having said that, there are obviously options uh, when you, when it comes to doing articles, you can pick a, a public sector training office. There's, many of them in the country now the the auditor general is probably the most famous but uh, national treasury has a program a lot of the metropolitan municipalities uh have have programs Uh, you can so you can get your do your articles there if you you want or you can go to a firm but ask to get involved in public sector work the firms do a lot of work on behalf of the auditor general so so ultimately it's really all about exposure you know if you want to get into banking you want your training to kind of give you banking exposure yeah, if you want to, if you want to get into the public sector, you want to make sure you get a bit of exposure to that uh, yeah. uh, your training. Right. There isn't there is so there isn't a need to specifically do a different qualification, <laughs> but yeah. the ex- the practical experience you get helps. But then you, I would also encourage anybody who chooses to go this route to to seriously think about doing some kind of postgraduate studies. So okay. the reality of, of of the CA as it stands now is that it is a private sector based qualification. Right. Um, yeah. We're trying to shift that, but that's going to take many years still. Yeah. Um, but there's an opportunity to to do, you know, some kind of postgraduate study. Maybe you do a master's in public public management, uh, or um, UCT has a fantastic postgraduate diploma in public sector accounting. So yeah. once you've qualified, you can you could yeah. you could do that. They offer it online, so that's an option. Um, yeah. And there's some other options available. Or else it's to just do short courses that give you exposure to, yeah. you know, um, public sector accounting, which is a bit different, or, or the, the auditing yeah. side, or the broader world of public financial management. Right. Um, but for now, it really is about, you know, get the, get your first qualification oh, and then look right. to add on to that in, in whatever way you can. And I mean, that's yeah. part of being a professional. Never, Absolutely. Never stop learning. Right? No, 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 no. Yeah. right. Okay, so there's, there's a couple of really interesting things that, that you've mentioned there that I think is, 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 is valuable to, to nail down is, one, the, the acknowledgement that we're looking for a viable economic career for, for ourselves, yeah. and this is not going to be a charity. You know, we're not going to go yeah. there and, and get paid you know, one-tenth of what we would in industry you know, just because we want to help change the country. So mm-hmm. that's cool. That's great. Um, I think it, it, it is important to... <clears throat> To, to understand that there is more than one kind of job. I do think that the perception is, you know, if you want to be in public sector, you go work for the Auditor General and you're like an auditor, an Auditor General, and that's it. <laughs> that's yeah. what you do, you know? So that's, that's, that's really cool. And I would encourage people to, to take a look further. I think, um, I, you know, I don't really know much about any of the training programs of like National Treasury or whatever. So that'll be, you know, that's really good. I think the, you know, the exposure and, the the breadth of possible experiences is, is really good um, and i think from you know from your experience you know be, being able to sit there and go well you know the opportunities that that you've had um and that you know you're currently going through are really exciting you know i think most you know most people even you know that want to go into private sector would love the opportunity to have you know a role where they need to travel and 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 you know meet interesting people from different backgrounds and cultures and companies and countries and whatever. So that's, that's very cool. So I think that's definitely, you know, that's definitely worth, um, worth thinking about. And I also really like the, you know, the emphasis on if you're looking for a career with more meaning, you know, and that's, that's a sense Mm -hmm. of you for fulfillment of wanting to be a part of something that uh, really makes a difference as opposed to Mm -hmm. just the bottom line, you know, and again, there's, we're not saying there's anything wrong with that, but it is, yeah. you know, there are people that are more drawn to 